back to my channel. I'm so excited to be back and ready to celebrate some September holidays with you with picture book read alouds that you can use in your classroom this month. I hope that you all had a wonderful summer and I know that some of you have been back in school for a few weeks. Around here we go back to school the end of August, beginning of September. So September always means a new year to me. And it's the time we go back to school, we start fresh, and I always look forward to it every year. So today, I want to share with you read aloud picture books that you can share with your student to celebrate those unique and fun holidays that pop up in the month of September. But first, if you're new here, my name is Sarah, and I show up on this YouTube channel every Sunday night with read aloud tips and book ideas that you can take into your classroom right away. I love sharing my passion for reading aloud and how you can incorporate it into your classroom every single day. If this sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and then hit that red subscribe button down below. But now, let's dive into those September books. First up, on September 6th, we have National Read a Book Day. As if we needed another excuse to read aloud books in the classroom. I have two books to share with you for this one. The first book is How to Read a Book by Kwame Alexander. And I've shared this book before. This is a great book to share with your students. It has some rich language and beautiful illustrations that are put together as a collage. However, I will caution you that it's a really difficult book to read aloud because of the way that the collage images are put together. I suggest sharing this with your students, but maybe not for a read aloud. Instead, a great read aloud for this day is How to Read a Story by Kate Messner. This is such a fun book with advice about reading a book and sharing that joy with others in your life. Your students will find it almost silly as it outlines the step-by-step -step ways that you read a book, such as picking out a great book, finding a cozy reading spot, looking at the cover of the book. Such great reminders this is also perfect for the beginning of the year when you're introducing Reader's Workshop to your students. Great information and great ideas for how to settle into reading a book. Next up on September 9th is School Picture Day. For this holiday, I have a brand new book to share with you. And it's a really great one. This one is Amira's Picture Day. In this story, Amira is so excited. She is a young Muslim girl and Ramadan has ended. She's so excited to have the day off and celebrate with her family and her friends. But then she realizes that on this day is also school picture day. And she's so sad to miss it because she's picked out the perfect dress and she wants to be there and be part of her class as well. But in the end, she figures out a solution and a way to celebrate both. This is such a welcome year for American Muslims and it has a lot of background information both on Ramadan, Eid, and how it's celebrated. And you could pair this book with the other picture book in my mosque to really get a lot of background information and share that with students and celebrate other cultures in your classroom. So this is about much more than school picture day, but September 9th is a great day to read it aloud with your class. September 11th is Patriot Day, and this is such a powerful day that I believe we should share with our students to talk about the importance, especially of all the heroes that helped bring our country together on this day 20 years ago. Because I believe that this is such an important day and that I think it's important for you to share it with your students, next week I will have a whole video with books for you to share with your students to talk about the events of September 11th and how important Patriot Day is to our country. So make sure you catch that video next week. I will also have an interactive read aloud for you for free that will go along with one of the books to help you discuss these events with your students. September 15th is known as International Dot Day. So of course, the book that you need to read is The Dot. International Dot Day was started by a teacher in 2009 after reading this book with their class. Since then, it has turned into a global celebration of creativity, courage, and collaboration. In this story, a caring teacher encourages a discouraged student to trust in her own abilities by just making her mark on a piece of paper. 
and seeing where it takes her. By the end of the story, it has taken her to amazing things. And I know that your students will definitely be inspired by this story. This is one of my favorites, and so I have an interactive read aloud to go along with it. And I will leave a link to that in the description box down below so that you can use it as you read aloud this book with your class. September 16th is Guacamole Day. And for this holiday, I have a brand new book to share with you. This one is called Avocado Asks. Now, I know it's not about guacamole, but avocados are in guacamole, so it goes together, right? This is a great picture book, so any chance you have to read it, I highly recommend sharing it with your class. In this story, Avocado is very happy being who he is until one day a child walks by and says, what is an avocado? Is it a fruit? Is it vegetable? And has Avocado doubting himself and thinking, where do I fit in? What group do I belong to? So he travels around the supermarket trying to figure out which group of foods he should belong with. In the end though, he discovers that it's all about being who he is and really celebrating that. This is a great book to share with students when they're feeling like they're not fitting in or feeling that struggle to fit in with others and how they need to embrace who they really are. A great story to share with your students and I think they'll get a kick out of the main character, Avocado. September 17th is Constitution Day, which can be a little tricky for students to understand and grasp the concept of. A more perfect union really breaks it down in a way that's easy for them to understand. It is full of accurate information to help students understand how the Constitution was created and why it was created and why it's so important for our country. And to help you use this book in your classroom, I've created a free interactive read aloud and I will leave a link to that in the description box down below. You can grab it to really enhance your students' understanding of our country's constitution. Next, on September 18th, we have Dance Day. And so I'm bringing you another new book. Can you tell I'm really enjoying finding new books to share with you? That will help you celebrate Dance Day with your classroom. This one is Boys Dance. And this book was created in partnership with the American Ballet Company. And in this story, it subtly addresses the prejudices towards boys and dancing ballet, and it helps the reader understand all the skill, hard work, strength, and even smarts that it takes to become a dancer. And there's some awesome back matter in this book that shares the company's main male dancers and each of their background stories and how they became ballet dancers. I think this book will be inspirational to some of the boys in your class and even some of the girls who want to pursue dancing, especially ballet, as they get older. On September 22nd, we officially switch from summer into the season of fall. And fall is my favorite season, so I wanted to share with you the story, Goodbye Summer, Hello Autumn. The illustrations in this story are beautiful. In this story, a young girl takes a walk and interacts with nature as the season is changing. This book is part of a series in which there are stories for each season and how each season changes from one to the next. And it's so interesting to share with your students and have a discussion with them about what the differences are between summer and autumn. What do they enjoy doing in summer? What do they enjoy doing in fall? And if you're interested, let me know in the comments below, would you want to see a collection of fall books? I can share those with you later this month or even into October. So let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more read aloud books about the season of fall. And on September 25th, we have National Lobster Day. Now, living in the ocean state, I am surrounded by seafood all the time, but strangely enough, I don't like to eat it at all. But I do have a great picture book to share with you for National Lobster Day, and this is one of my favorite read-alouds. I think I've shared it on here before, but the book There Might Be Lobsters is a great read-aloud for discussing strengths and challenges with your students. A young girl brings her dog to the beach, but the dog does not like being on the beach. There are too many scary things, and there might be lobsters. And she's really afraid to do anything on the beach. And the girl keeps encouraging her puppy to play with her and do things in the water, but she doesn't want to go anywhere near it. But then something happens and she needs to jump into the water. And you can find out how the dog reacts in this story. And if you want to use it to discuss strengths and challenges with your students, I have an interactive read aloud lesson to go along with it. And 
I'll leave a link to that in the description box down below. September is also Hispanic Heritage Month, so I'm going to do a whole video with picture book read alouds that you can share for Hispanic Heritage Month with your students. So stay tuned for that in a couple weeks. And that wraps up our month of September. I am so excited to be back doing our weekly videos. I definitely missed it so much. And I can't wait to start sharing more with you throughout the school year. If there are any books that you would like to see me highlight on this channel, leave me a comment down below so that I can incorporate it into my schedule for sharing read aloud books with you for you to use in the classroom each week. If this video was helpful for you, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button below because I have so much more coming for you in the next couple of weeks and months as we go through this school year. Have a great week.